In some cases, there is a need to prevent users from entering some data that is meaningless or erroneous, or simply filter data by a particular flag. So let's take catalog contracts as an example. The role of the catalog is to store contractor contracts. Currently, the catalog is empty. We'll take care of that a bit later. Now, though, we want to add to our document purchases an attribute that should take care of the contract text in our document. Add data in 1C Enterprise mode. As catalog contracts is subordinate to catalog contractors, contractors connect to their own contracts, we create one more contractor and a couple of contracts for every contractor in the catalog. Now we want to impose some limitations on our users. Go to Properties in Catalog Contract, and we are looking for Choice Parameters Links. Let's have a closer look at this property. In the left column, we see all filters available for this field. Feel free to learn more about them by yourself. The right window is the place where we add the necessary filters. The left column is for filter name. The middle one is for attribute to apply the filter to, the set on the form. And the right is the edit mode. There are two options for edit mode. Clear, main attribute value gets cleared on change of filter. And do not change, the main attribute value remains intact on change of filter. Let's see how it works in practice. Add filters for attributes, contractor, and deletion mark. In 1C Enterprise mode, mark a contract for deletion. Go to Document Purchases and create a new one. Look through available contractors and see what contacts are available to us. As we see, the first filter works just fine. And the selection is limited to contracts that relate to the specific contractor. The list of contracts gets cleared on the change of contractor and clearing contractor search field. Now, select a VIP contractor as our contractor. As you see, the contract selection field is empty because the platform has applied second filter, which is mark for deletion. This way, the selection excludes all documents marked for deletion. There is one more even stricter filter in Properties of Attribute Contracts. Let us remove the previous filter for our convenience. The filter that we're referring to is called Choice Parameters. Let's open it to check what it can do. We can apply this filter directly to Attributes Contracts and its properties. By applying the filter, we make visible only those contracts that meet selection criteria in one of the specified filters. Basically, we have done the same. For the filter is the owner of catalog contracts, and the selection criterion is VIP contractor. In other words, such a filter lists only contracts owned by VIP contractors. Unfortunately, as you can see, this filter works only for predefined or simple type values like string that users are able to type in. Let's keep only the first filter and check what happens in 1C Enterprise mode. As you can see, this one is a stricter but more extensive filter. No matter which contractor we choose, the filter allows us to see only contracts that relate to VIP contractors.